Hi, I'm Kevin with Atomic Filters, and today I'm going to take a couple minutes and help you find the best 20 by 20 by 1 filter. And we're going to talk quickly about size, we're going to talk quickly about the uh, construction of the filters, and then what type of filter you want to use as far as the level of filtration and why. So we're going to explain all that very quickly, so let's get started. So first we're going to start with the size. Filters in the filter industry, they're labeled by what's called a nominal size. That's the size that is printed on the filter. That can actually be the size of the filter, which it would be called an actual size filter. And that would be, it measures 20 by 20 by 1. In most cases, it's a rounded number in filters. And that's what makes this a little bit confusing in the filter industry. So the actual size can sometimes be printed uh, somewhere on the filter. In this case, it's printed right underneath of the nominal size. Uh, the actual size on this one is 19 and a half by 19 and a half by 0.75. And that's a very common filter, one of the most common sizes of filters. So let's talk now about uh, efficiency ratings and why it matters in filters. So when filters were first uh, introduced or they were created for protecting the equipment in your home for your heating, ventilation, air conditioning equipment, or your furnace or your air conditioner. And that's why they were designed. So they really just meant to keep debris and dust and things like that off of the equipment because that can reduce the efficiency of your equipment and shorten the life of your equipment. So um, that's why filters were first invented. But now with modern homes, they become so well insulated uh, that we trap a lot of particles inside, from carpet fibers to drapes. There's sometimes some particles that can be harmful, even in furniture, uh, that can be in uh, the air in your home, and they're trapped in there because we've tried to make homes more efficient and hold that heating and air conditioning uh, inside the home uh, to keep it warmer or to keep it um, cooler without having to run the AC or the furnace so much. Uh, so by trapping everything in, the air quality inside homes has become somewhat of a problem. The EPA says that the air inside our homes or indoor air quality is two to five times dirtier than the air outside. So that's where filters come in and why you want to look at a higher level of efficiency that not only protects the equipment, but also protects the air quality. And that's why atomic filters Air filters start at a level of filtration known as MERV. MERV is a rating system. It's an acronym that stands for Minimum Efficiency Reporting Value, and it was uh, basically created by an association of engineers uh, in the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning industry known as ASHRAE. So MERV 8 is right about at that level that starts to really protect the air quality. Maybe at MERV 6, it begins to protect the indoor air quality. So MERV 8 is a, a nice level uh, for starting to protect the indoor air quality. So to help ensure that it's got good ventilation, uh, atomic filters are pleated. I would recommend a pleated filter that helps the air to move for, uh, through the filter more, efficiency, more efficiently. And uh, it takes... Uh, less work for the, the equipment in your home to pull that air through. So that means less electricity. Um, the other thing to note is that uh, furnace filters, AC filters, air conditioning filters, they're all the same thing. HVAC filters, they're just known by different names in different parts of the country. In the Northeast, they call them furnaces. In the South, we call them AC filters, for instance. So, um, so they're, but they're all the same thing. So if you're getting a furnace filter and AC filter, you're getting the same thing, uh, but they may just be labeled uh, differently. So the way to evaluate one filter brand by the next would be to look at the um, efficiency of the filter. MERV 8 will filter down uh, particles. When we're talking about filtration, we're talking about generally particles that are uh, 10 microns to 3 microns, and that's what MERV 8 generally uh, filters out. Um, Better filters will filter down to even uh, lower microns, basically. Microns are a very small particle or measurement. And uh, in general, uh, maybe 70 microns roughly is the size of a human hair. So we're talking about small particles like dust and dust mites. And uh, that's what uh, MERV-8 would filter out. They also filter out pollen and lint and uh, some of the larger particles as well. So when we get to the next level of filtration, we would be looking 
Uh, this is a good beginner uh, level though. The next level in Atomic, their media is a little different color. If this is a MERV 11, this is going to filter out particles um, to a large extent that are in the size of uh, one to three microns. So even smaller particles, and this would include uh, things like pet dander, so it's great for people with allergies. Uh, it would also filter out things like uh, a, a sneeze, the particulates in a sneeze or um, or in a cough, or also uh, it would filter out smoke or tobacco smoke. Um, you'll notice that this uh, this filter has more plates in it, uh, so this has a higher number of plates, so that means that with a heavier media than the MERV-8, it's going to still help that airflow to move through. In addition to the MERV-8, which just traps the particles that go through the media, this draws particles to the media because it's also electrostatic. And usually things that are MERV-11 or filters that are MERV-11 have electrostatic properties. Some of the best electrostatic filters you can get are called triboelectric, and that means that it uses dissimilar fabrics to create that electrostatic charge and draw particles to the filter, and that helps to um, filter down even smaller particles. So the last filter I'm going to show you, and generally this is um, the highest level that you'll generally find in a one-inch filter in most cases, uh, because in residential, in, in nice high-end residential buildings, sometimes in hospitals, you'll find MERV-13 filters. And MERV-13 will filter uh, down to the size of bacteria and viruses down to 0.3 microns. So from 0.3 microns to one micron, this will filter out a large uh, percent of particles every time the air passes through. So this is great for people who suffer with allergies, uh, but it also used in high-end residential buildings and, and hospitals uh, and play in use cases like that as well. So this is generally what you'll find the highest level that you can use for a one-inch filter in most residential um, buildings. So that's a very quick breakdown of the different levels of filtration and what you need to look for when you're looking for uh, the best filters in 20 by 20 by 1. Hope this helps. You can find these filters at atomicfilters.com. They're also available on Amazon and eBay and um, any fine retailers on the web. So, But go to atomicfilters.com. That's a great place to find these. Or just search atomicfilters.com. Thanks for tuning in.